Well, good morning subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. Um, it's been raining in Melbourne, Australia for quite a number of days. And on this occasion, we're off to see what appears to be an abandoned train. Now there are my lorikeets that I feed in the heart of the CBD of Melbourne. One's called Lorry and the other one's called Larry. Um, and these pigeons, which I don't particularly like, but they are what they are, pick up all the scraps that these two drop getting in their breakfast. They come in the morning and they have a habit of coming at around 2.30, 3.30 that sort of hour time slot. So anyway, there's the new bike. It's, what, well, not new, new for me, it's second hand. It's a 2011 uh, BMW G650. And this is not the way it'll end up looking. I've put the crash guard, uh, engine crash guard on. I've put some, I don't even know what you call them. Um, I think they're called like Bark Busters for a brand name, but these aren't Bark Busters. These are actually the BMW ones. Uh, it's just to protect your hand when you're riding. I have experienced hitting a bird with my gloves on, which wasn't all that pleasant. Um, other than that, it's just around eight o'clock in the morning. So we'll head off and have some fun and check out these uh, abandoned trains. So as you can see, it's just on 8 o'clock in the morning. The Australian Open tennis is supposed to be starting shortly. It is a Sunday morning. And if you just cross that bridge directly in front of me, where that white van's going, that's where the Rod Laver Tennis Centre is. You can probably see in the background the flags are all up, ready to go. And that's where the tennis will be playing. So we're on Flinders Street at the moment and the city's slowly waking up with the uh, city residents getting up to do their morning exercise or in my case I'm just going to go out of the city and as I said have a look at the um, this somewhat abandoned train and take some drone footage but I'll also have a breakfast uh, somewhere in that location. I'd rather have the breakfast in the location I'm going to. It's not very far. So here we go. Um, bit different driving the uh, or riding the uh, the BMW, the, the the 650. Definitely makes a different tone. Never used to it. Um, so it seems quite strange to me. These are Flinders Street Station. A couple of cyclists and it's all slowly happening in the city of Melbourne so there you go there's a clock just on eight, uh, eight o'clock just after eight so I'll turn this off until I get to the location So we're coming up to this location. I think I've just got to do a, a spin around this roundabout and head back the way I just came to get access to this little lane. Now I believe the lanes on the maps was some sort of uh, stop and park type place where you park your car and the, um, the bus service picks you up and takes you wherever they provide the service too. You can imagine it might be the city, but we're getting close. So we're going to turn left here. Yeah, see the sign parking and the symbol for the bus. So we're going to go there. Oh, there you go. There's a rabbit. First thing in the morning. Oh, two of them. And we want to enter, not here, but here. And let's see how close we can get to these trains. That have now, I understand these trains have been here, I'd imagine for well over 10 years. 
Um, and let's just see if the access is there for us. And yes, it is. So Google Maps was correct. It showed it as all being open. And it looks like a, a storage area for the uh, railways. So let's have a look, see how far we can go so we don't have to walk much. If you know the area, then you know we're in, is it North Altona? Oh, there's some more rabbits. And in the distance I can already see these trains. Now they're obviously parked up by some company that's not using them um, and might have maybe provided a service. And I've just left them there. So that's interesting. So yeah, so that's the back of one. Now, there was no, no trespass signs anywhere that I could see. And there's your trains. I'll keep going a little bit further, as long as I don't get bogged around here, which wouldn't be nice. And I'll stop, if I can, directly opposite. on this concrete platform, just here. Lovely. Okay, so here we are. So you've probably seen in the background, there's the refineries. And let's go check it out. So it's only a small number of uh, carriages or whatever you want to call them. Look left, look right. Make sure there's no one on the, no one's gonna run me over. A bit of a pit I have to jump, which is not too bad. But here we are. Remote video monitoring. Well, that's okay. We're happy for them to monitor. No mention of uh, trespassing, which is good. And one thing we make sure we do is the only thing we leave behind. Well, is our footprints really? Um, we're not about to um, do any vandalism or anything like that. And I can see that there's footprints, uh, footprints here where someone else has actually walked. And here's the hole. Yep, someone's busted this open. And here you go. Wow, so actually someone has been in here. So there you go, let's check the front of it. Now if you know the location of this, um, obviously you've got to be respectful. But somehow I think, well, the damage has already been done to this to this train. So there you go. So there you go. She really has been neglected. This one. It has been rusting in the weather Like it's 
owned by John Holland. So I wonder if they were the ones that provided the service to Vic Roads. Well, not Vic Roads, Vic Rail. I'm not going to go in there. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Colourful murals. So here we go, going back. Once again. Interesting, but yeah, someone has trashed this quite a lot. Not sure if anyone's really interested. There's your engine, obviously, of some sort. Keep going. It's like someone's searched in all these compartments underneath for whatever reason. The uh, naturalists out there. A bit of and that's us walking around. This is the uh, cable. And we're back to the front again. Okay. Let's get the drone up.
Now, just a quick note. Um, it was quite disturbing to see how much damage internally these trains had suffered. Obviously, someone had come through, probably more than just one person, and has just willfully destroyed a lot of the things inside. Uh, all the doors are open. You can access through the carriage or the train engine itself. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for anyone to do that. The graffiti, well, as you can see, the, the trains themselves have been neglected. It does look like they were on fire, but they haven't. It's just uh, rust. Um, but once again, give us that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. By all means, please subscribe. It doesn't cost one cent. It really does help with the algorithms and this channel. But most importantly, stay safe and be aware of the consequences of your actions. Uh, and also commute safe and have a great day.